just about 10:45 this morning, uh, we got a we, officer was flagged down regarding a hit and run accident over at West A in Kettner. Uh, about five minutes later, uh, one of the officers saw the suspect vehicle was described as a white sedan pull into the parkade here uh, on 1200 Third. Officer went to go make contact and came across a black female, uh, approximately over 200 pounds, who pointed a handgun at him. Uh, she then, the, the suspect then made her way up into the parkade. Uh, during that time, a person was armed with a handgun, had the handgun very visible. Our helicopter could see the handgun, so we started getting calls in of an active shooter. I want to make sure everybody understands this is a very code four situation right now. We do not have anybody outstanding. It's a secured scene as we speak. Um, rock and roll marathon, as everybody knows, was going on at this time, just a couple blocks to the north of this. Uh, we'll look at whether this, but what I can tell you right now is what we know here. Is at about the same time that the hit and run accident was, we were notified of the hit and run accident, we called down in Chula Vista, a male caller stated he had been kidnapped by a black female at gunpoint. Uh, he was bound and gagged. Uh, that took a little while for him to get free. He called Chula Vista PD right before about 10.50 this morning. We believe these two incidents are going to be tied together. Uh, so we have this, this female now in custody. So we're going to have to look at her involvement in this case out of Chula Vista and then our case here. But as we were doing this active search for this person, multiple calls came in of an active shooter. Uh, we had officers responding on scene. We had a lot of officers here working obviously for the rock and roll marathon again which is the route is just a couple blocks to the north from right here uh, as we were doing that uh, one officer fired multiple rounds or two rounds at our at our suspect did not hit her um, but we also had an officer uh, have a discharge of his firearm and he shot himself in the leg uh, he's been transported to the hospital expected to make a full recovery um, and so that's what we know right now as i stated before we started We'll have an update in about two hours, either myself or Captain Mike Hastings from the homicide. But again, I want to make sure everybody understands. This is scene is very secure. There's nobody outstanding. And uh, the rock and roll marathon was impacted for a short time, about 30 minutes. About 4,000 runners were impacted. And the race was reopened. And, and hopefully those that were stopped were able to finish.